They say that home is where a person can be their truest selves, without guile, without pretense. You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The flavors of my favorite fiddlehead soup, should you wish to experience it for yourself. My beloved confidant and loyal companion Rascal. The very first reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure. The garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. We spoke of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stelmane, a story I have told no one else. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. I have learned to adapt my methods to your needs. The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together. But few would trust a mind flayer. So I did what I had to to convince you. I studied you. Your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. Consider that you were just a problem to be solved. And not an easy one at that. But I persisted. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how much I would enjoy your company. like we were dancing our way towards something deeper. Would you like that? The back of your mind warms with a rush of feeling. The Emperor's feeling. Heat. Care. Arousal. breath merging into yours, cold, smelling faintly of vanilla and garlic. Its breathing quickens as you pull in close to its face, its excitement palpable. You pause a moment as a thought occurs to you. Where is a mind flayer's mouth? A memory stirs, diagrams in a book you read long ago. The Mind Flayer's mouth is underneath the tentacles. I can make this easier for you if you'd like. My other form might be more familiar for you to navigate.
everything you ever dreamt of and more. The single greatest experience of your life. Sorry. You didn't leave me much energy to spare to maintain appearances. It seems the tadpole allowed you to share more than you would have liked with your companions. I said I'd protect you from the absolute, not each other. And I was distracted. Come. It's time to get dressed. We have work to do. I am tempted, but it will be quite some time before I am uh, able to do that again. And time is not on our side. The Elder Brain's hive mind has grown to monstrous proportions. And through the Crown's magic, it has complete control over each and every member. It was intelligent before, but now, with its hive mind established across the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. You should reconsider your attachment to your physical form. You have seen what an Olivid can do. You have experienced the pleasure for yourself. Imagine, some of that could be in your grasp. Not enough to warp your appearance beyond recognition, but just enough to enhance your potential. It would make us even more compatible. As well as radically increasing our chances of success against the Elder Brain. Think on it. into yours, cold, smelling faintly of vanilla and garlic. Its breathing quickens as you pull in close to its face, its excitement palpable. You pause a moment as a thought occurs to you. Where is a mind flayer's mouth? A memory stirs, diagrams in a book you read long ago. A mind flayer's mouth is underneath the tentacles 